Hello everyone, it's Ishmael Anya and I welcome you to today's video. May the Lord bless you greatly. Hallelujah. And I come to you with a wonderful message and do not be surprised at times when we're wearing this around there. It's winter, okay? So yes, um, I have a special message. Someone is getting tired, like monitoring you, observing you and all these things. And with this word, please note, please note, okay? Highlight that and, and whatever you can do that this way cannot be for everybody. But it's when you see that it resonates with you, just take it further, pray further about it, may the Lord get to confirm it further. And sometimes you might find that maybe you've been told, 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 this word will just come as a form as a, of an absolute or final confirmation. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. So this is, this is, here is the thing, and this video can also be a lesson to many. So I would urge everybody to listen or to watch this video. Praise the Lord. I want you to realize that as a human being, there comes a time, no matter whom you might have met in, in life, people will get to a stage where they get tired of you. People will get to a stage where they just feel like they, they, they need some space alone. I'm sure you are aware of such a thing. As in the world we're living, somebody, somebody will just close themselves inside a their room. They don't want to talk to anybody. So it's likewise. And there are people that at some point, they will be having good motives. But in the process, when they see you helping them, they start to take advantage. For example, haven't you been in a situation where somebody will ask you maybe for a certain amount of money? But just because they can see that you even have more, they start even coming up with lies so that you can add more money to it. And there are people who now, when they see how kind you are, they take advantage. But above all, above everything that I'm saying in this, people, when they sit down, there comes a time when they start to recall everything back. And from there, they start to observe what you've been doing. They start to observe your lifestyle. They begin to see that, let's just take you have a bad separation, for example, there comes a time where somebody will just sit. Life starts to get boring. And that is a point where somebody will start to think about you. And once they are observing you, before they can reach out to you, before they can talk to you, is the thing is there will be fear standing in the way. And I'm here to tell somebody that somebody's been observing you. Somebody's been monitoring you. Now they just, you know what, it's a do or die situation. And that is when someone will start to reach out to you. But this is not about someone reaching out to you. As you know that I've been making videos similar to what I'm saying now. But here, what I want you to know down is when people reach out to you, leave a huge room for disappointment. Don't just jump because at times some people who reach out to you, it be people whom you've been expecting. You've been praying that, Lord, may you get to restore this relationship. May you get to restore how close we are, we were. But it only is a matter of the, te the, the, the test of times, if you know what I'm saying, okay? It's a test of times and somebody will see their way back home. Hallelujah. And I feel like praying also for someone whom your, your kingdom marriage was ruined, someone really suitable for you, something just got in the way. And I pray, may there be a huge restoration in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hence, I'm saying this word is not for everybody. I have been, I've been, I have been seeing a lot of people at times when I will be talking about reconciliations and all. Some people would comment with things like, no, I don't want them back and all these things. See, yes, it's okay because... You know where you stand, okay? But allow me to tell you that there are some people who still want a reconciliation. And some, they just need a closure, not a reconciliation. Or at times, it can come in a form where you feel, you feel like you need a reconciliation, whereas it's a closure. And how is it a closure? It's because when that person comes back into your life, you will try to want to reignite what you used to have. But in the process, you begin to realize, you know what? This is not worth it. You know what? This person is even worse than before. Oh, you know what? You know what? We are better off separated. So God, sometimes he brings those people back as a way of closure. But the most dangerous of them all is when those people come back into your life, they take what they wanted to take and they run off again. They leave you heartbroken. And this is what I want you to realize. And this is what I want to pray to you about, for you about. 
do not just jump and be excited when people come back some people when they come back they are coming to ruin what you have the enemy never wants to see you happy. The enemy is happy when you are sad. The enemy fights against your joy. The enemy fights against your progress in life. For example, you are happy. Now you are finally moving on. You, you, you were so heartbroken when the separation happened. And then you finally ended up being, or maybe you finally get to a stage where you begin to heal let me tell you that the enemy of your joy will not like it so the enemy goes around he looks around whom can he find whom can he locate to bring into you so that they can make you miserable and in the name of jesus christ i pray that may the may you not be miserable may you keep a safeguard against every enemy of your happiness and joy in the name of jesus christ nobody shall ever take your smile away i decree and i declare in jesus mighty name Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, there is the enemy of your joy. There is the enemy of your progress, of your happiness. Some of these enemies, they observe you. Maybe some, haven't you been in a situation where, or you've seen a situation where somebody finds somebody new who loves them, then the ex comes back only to ruin things. Because that person, even as a person, a physical person that you see, when they see a woman or a man or their ex being happy with somebody else, they try to come to come in between just to ruin. And the moment you let go of that somebody new who was treating you right, they go back to their bad habits only to live again. Hence, there is a thing: someone is seeing you, someone is observing you. Yes, let them reach out, let them contact you, let them start talking to you again. But then remember this way that I'm sharing with you right now. Not all people who come back are having good intentions. Hence, this is where the message comes in. When they come back to you, take it as if they are not yet back. Yes, I know you'll be kind of happy, but keep in mind, their, their reason for return or their comeback will be possibly to ruin. So first check. Who was wrong in the first place? First check, if they are back into your life, will you be still happy if they go back to, your old, to their old habits? And then after checking that, ask yourself, why do you want to want them back into your life? And then ask the final question that you can ask yourself is, what if they were to leave again? What would you do about it? And then that's when you will ask yourself, you can prepare yourself that in case they are to leave again, this is how I'm going to handle a situation. And to be sure, to be safe that you don't fall again to, those, to their uh, scheming, manipulative ways, begin to prepare until they prove themselves that they want to stay into your life. If it was a matter of closure, may it be so. And I pray, may God open up your eyes and be your guide through the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And yes, of course, that's all I had for you in today's video. Before you click out, if you feel like this message blessed you, go ahead and give it a thanks. My details are on the description of the video below also if you want to reach out to me. And you can just keep yourself busy by checking also this video here. And bye-bye.